It's day 16 of my 31 uploads in 31 days. And we're heading over to Pinterest for me to show you how to customize your shop the look options on your Pinterest pin. So let's start. I'm going to show you, let me just click on a random pin, how you're going to add a shop the look on the side with your products. All right, so this one doesn't have the shop the look. So I'm going to go to my Pinterest profile right here. I'm going to pick a random pin. Of course, I didn't add any here. Hold on, let me find one where I actually did it. And don't be like me. Try to do this with every pin that you create. So right here, you see on the side, Pinterest gives a shop the look suggestion. You can make sure that Pinterest gives your product as the shop to look. So as you can see here, these are items from my website. So let me click on another one and show you again. Let's see, make sure I actually did it. Let's see here. Here we go to. So here are my ornaments. Even though this is a blog post, the shop to look, I'm giving my items. Now at the bottom, they will always have similar things, but you want people that come to your pin to also see your your items, you know, suggested on the shop to look. So I'm going to show you guys how we do that. So we're going to create a pin right here. Now I don't have anything ready, so I'm just going to randomly choose a, anything from my desktop. Oh, here we go. I have a pin that I saved here. I think I pinned this already. Actually, I did not. I actually did not pin this. So we're going to do it an actual pin. I'm all over the place. I'm going to show you the process of how I create my pins from scratch. So the title and description, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not a good creative writer. So I always go to chat GPT and ask chat GPT. We're going to do real simple, write a Pinterest pin and title for my freebie Friday blog post, the freebie is a in my Grinch era themed chip bag. Now you could go more in details. You could tell them how many characters you want them to use all the characters in the description. You want the, um, you could put right in engaging Pinterest pin. Hold on. I did that wrong. Pinterest pin. You can put Pinterest title and description. Hold on. I took out pin. Pinterest pin title and description, right? So I'm just going to send that to ChatGPT and it gives me everything I need here, right? So we're going to copy this title. Go back into Pinterest, put it in here. You don't have to do this. I'm just a really bad. Also too, because for this tutorial, I'm just, I want to show you guys how I do it. Read over everything to make sure it's correct. Okay. Now you're going to add the link for me. All of my blog posts and videos I have saved in my notes. Let me just go blog blog post for 2024 and they go to Grinch chip bag copy just so it's easy for me to grab anytime I need it or if somebody wants to ask me you know what I'm saying all right and the board this is going to go to I don't think I created a freebie board that's what I need to that is what I need to create so I'm going to add this to the the craftprint.com and then your tags you type in different things that describe wait, hold on. describe your pin and see if it's available. Free printable. And you can keep going. Um, Christmas. Christmas crafts and fine, right? Now here, where it says add product, this is where you're going to put those on the side. So you can search through Pinterest if you wanted to recommend something on Pinterest, or you can use your own link here. So I'm going to go to my website 
And I'm going to choose a product. We're going to the glitter cardstock. I'm just going to choose one. I'm going to get the link, copy. We're going to go back to Pinterest, paste it. Then you press enter. Now it's going to search sometimes. It takes a little long. And then you select it. If it's an affiliate link, you have to choose affiliate link for that product. It's, it's the law. So we're going to select this. And right here, this is going to go under those suggested shop the look products. You could do it again. Let's go get another color glitter or any random look. We'll just choose the metallic. Today, I'm just choosing at random. What you can do is you can choose like similar colors. So I would choose like pinks and greens. You know what I'm saying? So you choose which image you want to use. And since I said that, we're going to do that right now. Because the person looking at this specific pin, they obviously like the Grinch. They think it's cute. So we're going to get the colors similar to that product. And again, it's shop the look, so you want something a little similar. But this is how we're going to get our products to pop up on shop the look. I've also done it for Etsy listings. You can just copy the link to that Etsy listing and do it. So this I am not publishing at a later date. We're going to publish right now because I didn't pin it before. And the pin has been published. Let's go to the page. Let's click on here. And you see the products that we linked, shop the look. So now when people press this, they go to the website, they get their freebie, but this is right here just in case they want a little card stock. So that's how you link your products as the shop the look option for your pins.